you are all welcome to the conference. My name is Lawrence Inkamwesga, lecturer at the University, Faculty of Technical Science, Department of Computer and Information Science, which is located in Aroa, Uganda. The topic or the title for our study is a framework for health information management in the new, in Ugandan hospitals, the case of Kampala and Aroa. Health information management is the electronic capture, storage, share of he health across hospitals or devices. For better service, here is a service delivery. Electronic health would be practiced For the case of Ugandan hospitals, there are challenges encountered in health information management. And the problem of information, health information management is around duplication, manual capture, of information, for example, using healthy management information system in hospitals to manually capture data, lack of, of sharing the information electronically, limited access to information policy to effect decisions. As a result, Data quality attributes, including accuracy, completeness, accessibility, timeliness, precision, reliability, and relevance are hardly attained or tempered with. Existing years frameworks, for example, the World Health Organization, Dash, the National Telecommunication Union framework created has some gaps. It lacks detailed guidelines for integration of here's information. Furthermore, despite the fact that it supports information sharing, there is no insight, or it indicates no insight on guidelines that enable health solutions. Thus, the researchers thought of coming up with an e-health information management framework for managing information, e-health information in Ugandan hospitals. The motivation was based on having or developing a near information management framework that would guide in the establishment of he health information management while extending the WHO-ITU framework. The study also focused on three objectives. The first one was to investigate challenges faced in health information management and requirements to address them. The, the second was to design a framework for guiding the establishment of e health information management capabilities in order to address the requirements and lastly to evaluate the designed electronic health information management framework 
for Ugandan hospitals. The research methodology and approach was we used quantitative for expert review and data collection and extension of the EF framework and planning of how the framework that is the WHO-ITU framework would be extended was guided by action research. 16 hospitals were considered, 10 in Kampala, six in Arua. The reason for that was Kampala is the capital city of Uganda and Arua is one of the districts far away located from Kampala. So the researchers wanted to know how information in the urban area in Ugandan hospitals is handled electronically and also in the rural area so that the research would be enhanced and they thought good to have the study to have enhanced information. Thus, three groups of participants were looked at or were considered that the data managers, one, administrators, one, patients, one, from each hospital recording for the eight respondents for the 16 hospitals, meaning that each hospital had three participants, three times 16, giving 48, and this was guided by the central limit theory, which assumes normal distribution. Thus, the respondents in these 16 hospitals were assumed to be normally distributed. We use it cross-section or cross-sectional research technique for collecting data, that is data was collected at a single point and primary data was collected using interviews while interviews and questionnaires and such terms such as and or that is the Boolean terms were used for looking on the secondary data that was mainly captured from the databases and the search engines. Furthermore, the experts that were considered were from were highly specialized people in statistics, that is 16, and also in the data management, plus e-health information management, totaling 17 experts from 17 districts of Kampala and Arua. Restrictive statistics was used for the experts, that is for the quantitative study that, are, that included the experts, and thematic data analysis was used for their action research to get the themes that informed this study as major themes. Furthermore, the challenges and requirements to address them, that is to address the challenges, were coded whereby the problem from the literature or the field of literature review were coded as PC, that is problem component, and the requirements to address these were recorded or coded, were coded as 
R, whereby the first problem component that is PC1 was that some of the data tools are not detailed enough to allow holistic and comprehensive analysis of the data, which was summarized as, as unplanned review of data collection tools and use of automated systems to ease data updates that were lacking in those tools. And the requirement to address these were two. The first one was to design detailed data collection and reporting templates that accommodate characteristics of data quality and provide guidance on data analysis. And the second one was design systematic feedback and control mechanism for data collection and reporting templates or tools. The problem component number two was inadequate e-health infrastructure due to limited internet coverage to rural areas, inadequate internet bandwidth, frequent power cuts, remote system access to problems, inadequate and uncoordinated ICT funding, in inequity in the distribution of ICT resources. That also gave us two, that is requirement number 2.1, that which states, dev, devise, dev, devise mechanisms for government to partner with private agencies to help overcome funding limitations associated with establishment infrastructure for supporting ERC initiative innovations. And the second one was establishing mandatory level towards maintaining a shared technology. Problem component number three also had four gaps sustainability of his in is uncertain because most of the systems are under projects, improper maintenance of system, staff in charge of data, and high turnover of trained human resources for greener pastures or further studies. That one gave requirement one, that is requirement three, to develop guidelines for establishing a tired maintenance framework for sustainability of e-health information systems at the national, regional, district, and facility level. The first component, problem component, was inadequate knowledge on e-health information management platforms data utilization at the remote sites, managing he health information and existing he health information management systems. And it gave one requirement, developing guidelines for training users on he health information, he health innovations and utilization of he health information. The fifth was health information is on standalone computers and with, within the health organization. This gave one requirement to develop policies and guidelines on integration of health, health systems and sharing of health information. And six was lack of comprehensive e-health information management platforms to enable all stakeholders to share information on health services. And that one indicated a gap as lack of timely information sharing mechanisms for referral patients to allow unlimited access 
to patient information between healthcare care providers, limited access to personal health information. And thus, this led to the design or the motivation to design an health information management framework, which is the basis of this study. Furthermore, the gaps in the WHO-ITU framework and the design solutions taken to derive the he health information management that was mm -hmm. that came out from this study is as indicated here, using also same codes for R requirement and the, the decision. This was done by looking at the existing World Health Organization ITU framework that was framed in 2012 and extracted the gap in relationship to the requirements and also to the decisions to come up with the year's information management framework applicable for Ugandan hospitals as previously, previously mentioned. The first, second and third requirements were talked about previously and in a relationship to the WHITU, the gaps were three, that is guidelines on information quality and mechanism for data and information sharing delivery are not highlighted. The second the guideline for development templates of feedback and control mechanism for data collection and reporting is not included. And thirdly, however, the component does not provide guideline, guide, guiding principles toward setting up partnering and collaborating policies with private agencies. Three gaps were identified in the WHO-ITU and the decisions based on the gap to design the HERES information management framework, there were three as indicated here. The first gap, extend standards and interoperability component by providing guidelines for developing templates of data collection and data reporting. Second, to the second gap, extend the standards and interoperability component by designing guidelines for systematic feedback and control mechanisms for data collection and reporting templates. Then the third decision based on the third gap was that extend the strategy and investment component by providing guidelines for establishing conducive public private partnerships and for formulating policies that inform the collaboration the collaboration between public and private agencies these were three decisions that were thought to be implemented as gaps three gaps existing in the who dash dash ITU framework. The second requirement 2.2 was mentioned previously, but here the gap that was that was that came from WH-ITU framework 
based on the second requirement was, however, the components does not provide guidelines on how to implement the consent of mandatory levy towards shared technologies, infrastructure for e-health. And then the decision that guided this in the e-health, in the EHIM was that to extend the strategy investment component by providing guidelines for implementing the concept of mandatory levy for e-health information users to raise the resource base towards realizing a shared infrastructure for e-health. And the third requirement as previously identified, also there was a gap in the WHO that, however, the component is silent on strategies for ensuring sustainability of e-health solutions. And the design's decision was that extend the infrastructure component by providing guidelines for establishing a tired maintenance mechanism to enable sustainability of e-health solutions. The first requirement was previously seen and the gap here was that, however, the details of devising, devising aspects such as the training plan and training curriculum on the data management policies or guidelines are not stipulated in this component that is the WHO dash ITU. And the design, the design solution for this was that extend the workforce component to provide guidelines for developing a training plan and training curriculum on here's information management. The fifth one was that the fifth requirement previously mentioned that was linked to the gap in the WHO dash ITU that however, the component is silent regarding guiding principles on devising policies for integrating the ERC solutions. And the decision to design the EHIM or that extend the legislation policy and compliance component by providing guidelines for developing policies on integrating e-health solutions. Then the sixth requirement, design an e-health information management framework, which is the overall focus of this study while addressing the design or decisions D1 up to D5. And the expert review or evaluation gave the following results. EMI is not EMI, that was a mistake, a typing error, but it was supposed to be EHIM, expert evaluation. 90% of the experts, that is the 17% experts, that were contacted for evaluating the framework recommended the applicability to developing, to develop a year's management framework for developing countries such as Uganda. And for this case, they recommended that 
that the framework was applicable to the Ugandan hospitals because it was easy to use, it was easy to understand, it had logical design factors, and it was interdependent. And finally, the conclusion and the outlook, the objectives of this study included the investigation of the challenges of e-health management information in Ugandan hospitals, the also, second objective was to, to design an e-health information management system for Ugandan hospitals. And the third one was to evaluate the designed e-health EHIM for Ugandan hospitals for its applicability. All these were achieved. Furthermore, It was found out that the EHI framework or frameworks that were existing had several barriers on top of not being robust. And also they had unplanned reviews of data, inadequate health infrastructure, standalone e health information storage that affected the e health service delivery in the Ugandan hospitals. The outlook also we, we found out that there was a little awareness of e health information management the guidelines on health information management were also less, and the policies for health information management were not well designed. And also we recommended that we, re we implement a mandatory, by implementing a mandatory levy concept would overcome the funding limit or introducing the cost sharing concept to reduce on the costs. And also we recommend that the health information management would support interoperability that would encourage uniform management and sharing of health data in Ugandan hospitals. And also we recommend that cross-section that data collection that was used here, the results should be implemented by longitudinal that is collecting data at different times since things change. And the researchers, the study also recommended that the beneficiaries of this study would be the researchers, E health researchers in particular, the others, the government policy makers, and software developers. And finally, therefore, using the findings of the study, the EHIM framework that came out of this study would we enable information systems to work together within and across organizational boundaries to ensure effective delivery of health care services to individuals and communities in Ugandan hospitals. I thank you so much for listening and your questions or reactions are highly welcome. Again, my name is Kamwesga Lawrence, lecturer on university. I wish you the best, stay well, bye.